feel like that's I, what happened with S2H2. Like, he yeah. had some pretty good highs, but the, his losses there were all always. Yeah. They shown. Yeah. They shown. No, here we go. Wolf versus ESS. How? No, too much about this matchup, but I would think ZSS will. Well, I mean, I know she did good versus Spacey's in the past, but I don't know yeah. how she deal with the Wolf Spacey. I feel like for I always tell people Wolf feels like the Sheik of Spacey's. The from, Sheik of Spacey's. Okay. Yeah, I feel I feel like Wolf feels like the Sheik of Spacey's in this game. Okay, I can see that. Oh, tries and to go for the dash attack. Pretty good option. For Rival, it's to understand how much Charlie is gonna spend in time and space and his, his ability to actually just not gonna lie, just go get Zares, get neutral air, his combos on Wolf as well. Yeah. But also, Wolf's like out of stage. Opportunities when to punish him properly because you have to make sure that even if you are gonna punish Wolf for trying to go for Wolf Flash, yeah. even if he doesn't sweet spot the ledge, if you miss space yourself, you will get hit by that sweet spot. Yeah. And it can kill you. It can kill you, and Charlie's pretty familiar with it. Like, one of the harder things about being a solo main into the next game is that like people are probably already familiar yeah. with the whole ZSS, and Wolf being a new character from obviously he messed up yo good side dude so obviously now like rival has work cut out for him because he has to figure out the wolf matchup as in charlie knowing rival playing his zss yeah for many years is kind of already familiar with what he wants to fish for yeah so that's why i kind of feel that uh he might be in a disadvantage in this just because as charlie is already a good player himself he could adapt he knows people's habits he knows what they want to do and yeah. wolf is like perfect character oh nice in there for Charlie, it's also to understand Rival's recovery. So I mentioned it last game where Ooh, Rival nice. has a specific Up way. Up out of shield by Rival. Okay. We'll see a few more of those. He can't be committed too hard on the shield. Yeah, you have to be careful on that one. Oh, he goes up, but then he, okay. Well, that was cool. I, guess. I mean, he wants to be careful <laughs> with that, too. Because at the same time, he could get exploited himself up and get caught that beer. All right, dash okay. Charlie missing on that one, and Rival still holding onto the shield. It probably he, could lead to a cross-up, but... Yeah, he needs to get a kill. I would... Right now, he needs to get a kill. Oh, there, oh, there nice it is. Back. Okay. Because if he lets Charlie racks up damage with a fresh stock, then it would be scary. It's still good for Rival to even go for the way the setup he had it there. Because even if he puts Charlie off the stage, he can definitely do one of his like personal favorite things. I always yeah. see him do is go for a flip kick and then catch him back on the landing. Yeah. You know, too excited with flip kick. Oh. Now Charlie's like expecting flip kick to come out. Nice. Yes. Even, even going for a pretty much empty hop to the board, so immediately down yeah. smash. I like the fact that even though he goes for it, because if Rival would have gone for a get-up attack, it could have caught Rival, but if he went for the flip kick, it would have caught Rival on the landing, yeah. depending if he gets hit by the kick. Okay. See, I, I, oh, here we go. I want to see a big... Uh, oh, nice. Okay. That's what uh, I'm talking about, right? Like, your, your punishment on the wolf flash from that side of the stage is pretty big. Yeah. I'd like to see some more... Uh, Either if a rival could get some combo strings going mm -hmm. to make it feel, because I feel that would be the oh. only way where he could gain some confidence is if he's able to gain, uh, get combo and some cool little combo strings so he'd feel more comfortable in the matchup and net the kill. Yeah. But right now, Charlie's just poking away on the neutral and kind of like doing. I feel rival has what it takes to do the combos on Charlie, mm -hmm. but right now, Charlie's just racking up a whole lot of damage. And even. Even doing combos, I mean, Charlie has what it does to edge guard rival as well. Yeah. Like, he saw the flip kick, so he went for the high option with the up air. And yeah. even earlier, when he tries to go for the boost kick from that bottom of the stage, Charlie actually angles the floor tilt. So he's really well aware of how ZSS extends her hurt box as well as the hit box with that one. Yeah, ooh, nice. Nice string there, by. So that's what I can see by rival. Because I feel like uh, ZSS is a character that she uh, benefits the most off of getting her combo strings going. Mm -hmm. I feel that's the way she could really like oppress her opponents. Wolf, on the other hand, he could do like mul multiple things. He doesn't have to essentially always get his combo string going, but he could poke. He has good poking tools and neutral over and over again. Yeah. And ZSS is the one that she needs to get her strings going if if they want to feel. Oh, nice. Okay. Good but wherever so, he's still able to contend. He's able to continue. He's able to take the stocks away, but Charlie is like taking each stock away convincingly. Yeah. Holding the down like, smash and even trying to go for a, pretty much an empty read of the up smash. And Charlie's still really on the right yeah. The one thing that I do like though is that he is going for up smash because even if he misses it, he's really well aware of rival's recovery options, and he's been catching rival every single time. Yeah, it's, it's a neutral air though. It's able to poke the Charlie. Well, even though rival still oh, oh. goes for the grab. However, option that's. Pretty unfortunate. He was playing. I could see if he would have got that grab, he would have been able to rack up some nice damage on there. Yeah, Rival but wasn't too far behind, too, as well. He wasn't too far behind, but Charlie was also, like, getting Rival where he... Where he wants him. Where he wants him. So he right was, now... He was... I, I'm so sorry. The one thing that Charlie was really doing is covering a lot of Rival's options. Yeah, well, from his get-up options, he tried to do the down beyond ledge and mm -hmm. all other fonts. I wonder how... I wonder if he f likes um, Battlefield versus Wolf. Okay, Town of City. Okay. 
I think people are kind of intimidated by the fact they know Wolf is a good combo character. Yeah. Oh. They're like, oh, Shulk, okay. This is some, okay, this is something Charlie seems to like to do. Charlie, when he takes a game, depending on how he takes a game, he likes to showcase his other talented characters. <laughs> it's like the hidden see. boss, right? If you, if it's yeah. like the Mortal Kombat thing. If you beat him in a certain time, a yeah. certain way, you get, the, you get the hidden character. Yeah, you get the hidden character. So right now, everybody, uh, I know he said he wants to pick up show because he likes Charlie's his whole thing is he always likes good characters. He doesn't like playing bad characters. So I w that's why I'm not surprised him playing Shulk. And plus, he has to be rep for Nico since Nico's not here right now. So yeah, uh, shout out to Nico though. It is actually his birthday today. So if you do see Nico, just hit him up at, at two scoops underscore Nico. Wish him a happy birthday. Wish him a happy birthday. Then here we go. Now this is where I'm thinking that <laughs> this is the way how this game is looking. Unless Charlie can find out some Shulk nonsense, <laughs> I think we're gonna go to game three. Yeah. Because I was looking like, bro, you gotta take me serious. I'm not here. I'm no joke. I come a long way. <laughs> Been in this game for forever. Put respect on my name. Don't give me this Shulk. Oh. Charlie liking the whole speed monolith because he's a big fan of fast characters. <laughs> so I can see why he wants to. He's a big fan of fast characters in anime. Shulk fits that description very well. It's also good, though, because you do have a decreased jump height with speed art, so you're able to hit neutral air and forward air a little bit differently. But for Charlie, he was just able to just use the speed art just to move around nicely. Yeah. I, wish I wouldn't go for grabs too much in the speed monopoly. Oh, okay, he, he, he wants to up throw. He's yeah. looking for a he just guaranteed kill confirmed. At Buster Art for Charlie, it's kind of his catch-up tool. There's a little more shield damage there. If he would have gone on that forward, it would have been nice. Yeah, I would like to see shield monopoly maybe because he was at such high damage. But I can see he wanted to rack up damage before he, before he goes. Yeah. Speed Monado, he's loving that speed art. It's like his inner fox is in him. Even this color is actually reminiscent of the fox color he liked this back. Oh, like the dark one? <laughs> yeah. There you go. The guy don't. Missed the forward air. That was pretty oh. pretty awkward. <laughs> miss space. Yeah, he's miss spacing, but he's doing really. I mean, we're about to have a game three. Charlie, he wants to uh, showcase people. He's trying to get. He, he, he likes to have a lot of characters appear on his PR banner, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a badge of honor, I right? like. Badge of honor. Make it rival. Oh, oh no. Oh, nice. You do extend cool. your hurt Ooh, box. Look at Rival just hit. edge guarding. See, and this is something that I'm worried about. Because now Charlie went to say, he went one of his pocket. I don't even know if I call this a pocket. I could call him like his key pocket character or whatever. Because I'm real. You know, this is the character I pull out whenever <laughs> we're playing friendly. I think he probably pulled his character out on White Far on World of Light or something. But <laughs> this could be kind of scary because now he's giving. Rival a whole newfound confidence going into game three. Yeah. So he kind of wanted to be careful. You're sacrificing a lot of momentum and tempo against your opponent for such a risky pick like this, especially if it's yeah. not able to show up. But I, I don't want to count Charlie out just yet. I mean, he can win a couple yeah. of neutrals here, and Shulk is definitely one of those characters. Yeah. And if you're able to. Oh, my. Was that 80? Yeah. What? Oh, my goodness. What if was that? If you're able to actually properly use dial storage, yeah, you are able know. to turn things around. Yeah, we. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just very sad. We've seen Rival have to go away at 80% moment. <laughs> RIP to that third stock. <laughs> let's go, Rebel. Let's send this game three. Let's give the people something. Let's give the people some hope. So oh, into Charlie. The Solid opportunity for Charlie. Not Stuck streams. a little bit in the Monado oh, no. dial. That was, I think the up was a little bit uncomfortable. I know he wanted to get the damage something fast, but I think it was a bit unnecessary. It wasn't going to kill. Oh, I'm my. You, man. He killed him at 80 and killed him at 77. Like, this... Uh, it's uh, falling fair is really good for cupping. Oh my! No for way! Oh yes. Man, that's so good. good balance. He needs to really turn this around. I hope he just slows it down. You're faster than Shulk. He could have actually up tilted because it's one situation that I do see Nico do against Jump Steady. Is he knows when he might go for foot kick. Oh. oh, smash art! This could be trouble. Oh, oh, that's crazy. That's careful with the up B. Level. Turn around. Charlie really turn it on. It seems like he's finally figuring out the Shulk way. I was thinking we we're going into game three, but. Oh no, see, he's keep going for the up beam. He's getting punished oh, for it right. every. That's the third time we got punished for it. I'm telling oh, you, man, sad. if you're able to effectively use your Monados, one thing we didn't see Charlie do that Nico does is go for dial storage, but even then, he was able to effectively yeah, still use yeah. the Monados. I think kind of Rebel got a little bit anxious there. He wanted to just end the game. Yeah. And he kept.